Phil, congratulations. A 4 0 victory today against Accrington and Stanley. You must be delighted with the result. Yeah, obviously pleased. A really good performance from the lads, and uh, yes, it's a great win. Did it feel like a performance like that in a clinical nature had, had been coming for a number of weeks now? Yeah, I've been saying that we've we've dominated a lot of games without really getting our, our rewards, and um, but we've kept believing, you know, that dominance would be turned into goals because in the last few years it normally has. It's probably the first time where we've had periods where we haven't punished teams, and today. We were excellent in, in and around that final third, which is, which is obviously the most important part of uh, the football pitch. A hat-trick today for Paul Mullen. He was sublime, wasn't he? No, Moles was brilliant today. He was uh, back to his sharpest. Felt the the performance on Tuesday in the penalty. You could see he, he was lifted from that and uh, he took it into today's performance. And they're three really good goals. A couple of changes to the start in 11 today. What was your thinking mm -hmm. behind that? Um, obviously, I felt Oli uh, deserved his opportunity um, and he took it well. I um, thought he played well. Um, general play was good. Um, Jacob came back into the team. I thought Jacob played you know, one of his best performances of the season. He was physical. He was um, dangerous. I like it when he looks dangerous in that final third and takes people on. Got crosses in the box. So, really pleased with him. Um, and obviously, Boyley came back in as well. Um, you know, a bit unlucky for for the lads who didn't, you know, Aaron Hayden and and Ben and and, and Tony, um, but I felt Boyley had, had done well in the games he played, particularly the Notts County game. And you, know, you review the sending off, you know, of course, you know, it, you know, could have done better, but it's still a, a little bit unfortunate to to be sent off. After coming off injured on <clears> in midweek, was it, how pleasing was it to have Owen O'Connell available in the starting lineup today? Yeah, it was it was a huge bonus um, for us because obviously uh, Wednesday, you know, it was a. Long day because you know I was fearing that we'd lost him, and um, but it turned out to be not serious and something he can carry on with. And um, you know I think everybody saw today his quality, not just his defending defensive attributes, but his passing from the back. I thought was uh, sublime today. Going into the break, I guess there's no better feeling really for you than to be for the up and to have played the real way the football that we did. Yeah, obviously we'd love to have built on it in the second half, but Akron's on a good side. You know, they've got a very experienced manager, and you know we've still had some three or four really clear-cut chances to, to go and get that fifth goal. Uh, but we're not going to be greedy today. It's a great three points for us. And you mentioned how big that goal from Paul Mullin, the penalty could have been at Forest Green. Do you think that momentum was really taken into today, and something we can take into the next week on the training ground? Yeah, I th think the. Uh, yeah, it, it was a, it was a lift. Obviously, when you're getting beaten, you, you score in the last minute of the game. Um, but I thought the lads were just professional today in everything they did. You know, we we found the spaces with our football, found the spare men in, in midfield and McLean and Elliot, and um, you know, we really looked like a threatening side again today.